Hi there, it's Shell and Clint. Hey everybody, hope everyone's having a wonderful whatever day this is going to show. <laughs> Saturday, goofball. Uh, he has been so annoying since he woke up from his nap. I just woke up a few minutes ago. Just and those few minutes have been annoying. He's just been a whiny butt. Oh, uh, we have, you know, it's cold. <laughs> yeah. And we turn the heaters on. You know, you don't remember all the problems you have when it's cold. <laughs> all I've been doing is thinking, <clears throat> oh, I just want cold weather, cold weather. And we have gray water on our, for our sink. And so our sink is frozen. <laughs> so, and it's been frozen all morning, or all day, yeah, it's 2.30. Oh. And so you can't wash dishes because Clint doesn't want to go out there and thaw it out in 11 degree temperature. <laughs> Which I don't quite understand. <laughs> Just kidding, because I could do it and I don't want to either. But anyways, uh, and then I have uh, like a tickle way up high in my nose and it's driving me crazy. And I just figured it's probably the heaters, you know, the dust from the heaters. So, yeah, we're doing great. How are you guys doing? Let me show you this. Do you guys remember that fabric? Clint framed it, and this is going to be a belly band in the book. Isn't that absolutely adorable? And there's another piece that I put aside and kind of put... Where the cat Clint's looking for it now, so the cats wouldn't get a hold of it. That he did, and he finished this before his nap, because, you know, chop, chop. Don't hit me. <laughs> Might be on my side table over there. Yes. I've been kind of working about <clears throat> cleaning up and stuff. I just haven't done a lot, and he's kind of, you know, was working on the table. So I did take some of those pieces that I cut down. I can look for it later and show it to him later, baby. Hmm. And um, all the strips, I'm just weaving them. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory and everything. This is a belly band as well. This one's going to be like a typical top-to-bottom belly band. But look at that look on her face. Isn't that the cutest little fox? So cute. And then this. He wanted this um, direction. And he's like, oh, I'd like to use that. So, we've got the two belly bands. He's going to do two fabric flips and the cover. Now, the cover we showed you, and it was right here. the bear. Yeah, I didn't do the bear. But he is not happy with that. It's so tiny, and his fingers are just not letting him <laughs> work, that. work that way. Here you go. Here you can show him what so, he's going to... Do you want to show it to him, or you want to wait? No, you show it to him. Right? I mean... I might well just show. I love this image of the animals dancing. So he's going to, because I think that's probably a maple. Mm -hmm. Looks like a cross. But we're turning this into kind of like a, because um, I was thinking you could also do like a spring thing, but we're turning it into a fall journal. I love the colors. And we're working in fall, so. But. Yeah, they're dancing, and so Clint's going to kind of frame this out like he did the one belly band, like this one. And that's going to be the cover for the journal. And I'm just going to go ahead and make it the 8x8 journal, because I already have all my papers cut. But isn't that adorable? And plus, that would give him plenty of room for this. Otherwise, you know, my pages are usually 5 and a half. So that'd be harder to, you know, come up with this really cute <clears throat> thing. So anyways, yeah, we're going with this for the cover. So he's going to frame it and all that good stuff. So we'll show that when he's done. Try not to wrinkle. So yeah, we've been doing that. I did a little bit of coffee dyeing this morning. I, Clint made me a whole pot of coffee to do these pages. But then I got busy with breakfast and stuff. I made homemade apple muffins which is i've been making for 20 30 years probably 30 years i made those for breakfast and yummy 
was kind of doing coffee dye paper while I was doing it and doing the dishwasher and everything. And um, I kind of burnt some of my papers, but they're going to be fine, right? So sorry if I'm sniffling and stuff. It's just... Uh, I was looking for some more paper, and I came across this, and I thought maybe this would work either for this journal or for one of the other ones. We're talking about doing a few um, traveler notebook sizes, so they'll be a little bit cheaper and a little bit less intensive if, you know, that's an issue and you're looking to get one. I thought she was going to say, so, yeah, my hubby would get off his lazy butt and do the stuff. That's what I was thinking she was fixing to say. No, I told him I could do, you know, the fabric flips and stuff. They wouldn't be up to his style, but, you know, I could do them. Oh, I don't. <laughs> so, we're going to go ahead and cut down some papers. Again, I have some coffee day paper from GT Designs. I love her paper because it's long. I mean, it is... 17 inches it looks like. So I'm going to cut it down to 16. If I can find 16, there it is. I uh, just woke up. My sister, she's sending me this rambly, maybe that's where I get rambling from, I don't know. But she's sending me this rambly message. I can't even make out what she's trying to tell me. I'm going to go ahead and fold it in half because it's not working very well. And uh, I can't even understand it's something about her electricity was shut off and she fell down some steps and I don't know what she meant. I have no clue. I'm just like, okay, sis. I just told her my head hurts because I couldn't figure out what she's saying. But it sounds like she got home. Her uh, landlord had been there and he shut off their elect electricity. I'm just going to kind of fold it. Why did he do that? He didn't realize he shut it off. I guess he did it for somebody else and oh he didn't Lord. he didn't realize he shut off her electricity and she said, "Yeah, you sh shut off you know our electricity." And he says, "I did not." And she's like, "Uh yeah, you did." So then she said, "Well, he thought I was being passive aggressive, which, you know, I never understood what those things meant." And so he said, I'll be right over. So he came over, and then he's like, what happened to the electricity? And my sister said, well, obviously you did something wrong. She said, then I had to teach him what he was, how electricity work, works. Uh, yeah, so then, 9.30 at night, I'm just cutting these down, um, 10.30 at night, and she got the bright idea, she said, to... Uh, label all the electricity boxes, you know. <clears throat> and then she was rambling about, you know, we we put colors on all the things, all the breaker boxes, and they have like 16, 12 or 16 outlets in their kitchen. Their kitchen is like what eight by eight no, so I have good. no idea how in the world they got that much and those outlets are on four different breakers uh, so yeah and I was like what so she just randomly tell me all this stuff and then she says so they got out you know the post-it notes and they went and tried to figure out things and figured out what breaker goes where and what breaker controls what room and she said we marked it with red pink I don't know dark blue dark purple dark lavender I think and I'm like oh, okay sis and then she says but then when we got up in the morning the blue the dark blue dark lavender and the dark whatever color all looked the same color so they couldn't what was what anyways. I don't know. So yeah, it was just a big rambly session. So that's been my I told her don't yeah, she started by telling me that she had to hold the electrician's hand. I don't get that, but whatever. Hi Sophia, what are you doing? Yeah, so she's holding someone's hand and he said something about a ghost pepper and 
the don't touch her lip and yeah I tell you my family just rambles <laughs> my family's nuts your chunky is right there and it won't let me cut yeah so anyways but thankfully we did not have to do any outside work today so Clint was pretty happy about that we did get some emergencies come through and when I say emergencies it's just for work so I have some people who you know think oh no it's an emergency like for reals it's just work somebody needs to dig or something out and uh, thankfully they weren't in our area or we didn't have to worry about them Sophia for real <laughs> She heard me rambling. She wanted to be in on it. Uh, I think I'll do one more because I have two, four. Yeah, one more and we'll have six. So two for, ooh, look at that one. Isn't that beautiful? But yeah, it was just, I tell you. And that's just in the last hour all that happened. <laughs> Oh, whatever. You guys know when you come to my channel, I'm going to ramble because I don't have anything else to talk about. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Clint almost messed up. I was listening. Uh, but yeah, that's... Then the babies wanted Daddy to go take a nap, and so Chloe said... I want in the bedroom. I want out of the bedroom. I want in the bed. She sits in there and she howls like a little wolf or something. I don't know. So she howls when she's not happy. And so, you know, like three minutes after putting her in, she's in there howling because I'm not happy, Mama. I told you I wanted Daddy in here with me. Yeah, Sophia, your Daddy wants you. I tell you, she's... Man, too demanding. Boy, she wants him in there to take that nap, and she wants a nap. Yeah, and then when Daddy's not right behind her, she kind of throws a little hissy fit. Yep. Oh, story of our lives, guys. So good to be home. <laughs> it really is, though. <clears throat> Haven't heard anything from mother-in-law. We've been kind of... Look at that. Isn't that pretty? We've been uh, been texting her a couple of times, and she said they're fine. So, love these. Uh, I think I might just do about 15 pages in each signature. No more than 20. So, I'm just going to pop this one here. Just to kind of make sure I have, you know, plenty, but not tons. Does that make sense? I don't know. Honey, do you have anything to tell the people that I haven't already rambled about? No, I tell you, my sinuses are driving me crazy. I think we're gonna have to bring out the dehydr not dehydrator, Humi humidifier. Yeah, the humidifier, so that we can get some moisture in here. Just a whole new issue of problems, my friend. <laughs> At the post office, she's like, I'm not ready for winter. And I told her, I'm ready. And she said, you're the only one. I said, no, I'm not. I know of at least two other people. <laughs> one would be me. One's you and one's my niece. One's oh, yeah. Kristen. Yeah. <laughs> Kristen's like, yay, it's so cold in the shell. So this is just coffee dye paper. I just brushed on with a... Uh, the coffee on with a paintbrush because I didn't have a container to dip it in. What? And then I just, uh, <laughs> uh, I tell you, I put it on like a I get rid of broiler your pan and then that worked just fine. You know, I can't see that's been turned on. While well, I was cleaning up the kitchen. My plan was to do this and clean up the kitchen at the same time. But it's hard to wash dishes and stuff when the sink's broken. I'll go thaw it out. It's okay. I wasn't saying that for you, for your benefit. It was just telling people. No, it wasn't. Maybe, but no. 
That was this morning. I don't have energy in the afternoon. No. How many of you guys are morning people? We are so, or I am definitely, and Clint too. We get up like at 3 o'clock <laughs> pretty much every morning. Yeah, I woke up at 3 30. So yeah, and then, this morning. yeah, I actually slept in until almost, was it 5 this morning? Yeah. No. no, I think I was up the same time you. Yesterday was till 5. And Figured I better get up or Clint's going to think I'm dead. Because that's not something we do. We don't sleep that long. Mm -hmm. Unless I'm on vacation or something. I did sleep until 5, but I woke up at 3. And then I just made myself go back to sleep. Oh, I'm not going to feel that way. But yeah, it's just... <clears throat> but in the mornings, I like to get up, clean house, you know, whatever. After... Clint brings me my coffee. I don't make him bring me. Well, that came out really good there, babe. <laughs> uh, I don't make him do anything, but he's always brought me my coffee, and I don't even know when that started. I don't either. Uh, it just started, and, you know, I get up, and he says, Honey, you want coffee? And then he'll go get me coffee. I don't know, but I figured out how to make my own coffee this weekend, this last weekend. <laughs> It was fine. It wasn't near as good as plants. No, I got it down pat. He does. He has it. He has it down pretty well. But and then my niece, she's 17, and she drinks black coffee. I don't know why. But she said she prefers it black. I'm like, are you sure you don't want sugar in that? <laughs> no, I'm good. I like it black. So she must take after you. No, because you don't like. She must take after. No, Grandma doesn't even like black. So she must truly like coffee. I've heard that if you truly like coffee, you like it black. Yeah. That's just not me. I don't like it that much. And I tried it like when I was doing the um, Whole30. You know, I don't feel like I have to have coffee, but when I was doing the Whole30, I tried it black. Because you're not supposed to have sugar or cream or anything like that. And yeah, I didn't like it that well. Though the third or fourth day, I did drink it black, and I didn't have an issue with it. But then the next day, I tried it, and I couldn't drink it. So I don't know. Just me jabbering, rambling. Okay. So, anyways, uh, since I, I did three, I'm gonna throw one, two, two in one of these journals. Okay, so that is already given us one, two, three, four, five, six pages. No. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pages. So I need about eight more in each one. So we're going to kind of mess around see what we can come up with I do have this I got this yesterday and this is favorite songs and so I thought we might could come up with something cute from here I was gonna see if they had like a um, table of contents or something and see if I could just find a song you know instead of flipping through the whole book that might kind of go with this, um, like here's a waltz, blue, don new boot, I don't know, waltz, page 12, but I was thinking maybe something like, you know, in the, um, forest or in the woodlands or something like that. I think that might be kind of fun. Let's kind of see if there's any more. Here's the last rose of summer. That might be kind of fun. Since it's fall, that one's 138. So let's grab 12. So when we were at the thrift store yesterday, for the guard sale, I ran into sis, my sister. She said, Michelle, I want this thing for Christmas. And I asked Clint, should we really get that for her? Because it was a drawing. 
and then she wrote me today and said she went and we didn't get it because she said for Christmas and it's probably like two bucks I don't know I suppose we could have gotten it I think I might go ahead and use this one too but anyway she um, wrote me later and said today and said Michelle they didn't have it anymore I said, oh no she said it was a pen and ink drawing from 1969 Told her she should have got it because that's a good year. And then she's like, oh my gosh, that's old. Did you know that you're, you're old? Thinking, really, sis, was that necessary? She said it was, but you I was going to say, no one says, so I'm sure she said, yeah, it was necessary. Yeah, her and my brother constantly are texting me saying, you're getting closer. <laughs> you're getting closer, Michelle. We told sister in the 50s. I know, and then I'll be 55. That's still not a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, what was that one? The last rose of summer. That was 138. I forgot. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, you guys. Yeah. But it's just like they're kind of razzing me, so it's kind of funny. Where's the red? I must not have looked at the right one because that's not the right thing. Okay. It's not. It's 47. That's what happens when your eyes go. There it is. The Last Rose of Summer. And the Torador song. I don't know. It doesn't really have to go. I just like, I mean, if I can, you know, get it to go. And look at this. Ah, you guys. It's a signature. So, I could. I didn't even know it was like this. trim them. And then I can have it the right direction. That'd be kind of fun too. Okay, let's try this. Ooh, nice. Yeah, let's do that. Instead of folding it like this, because that's fun. <coughs> that's more funner. Okay. I know, I know. Copyright 1936. Wow. Well, that's what your dad was for. Your dad? Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. So, I'm going to go ahead and get four of them. I'm just going to take them out. We're just doing all that work for nothing. That's okay. These will be excellent for smaller books or something, but since... I want to make such a large book. I'll do it like this. And then I'm just going to cut these down since they're folded to eight. And it's going to cut a little off, but really, it's almost going to have the whole song. Oh, please don't do that. Come on. Okay. Sometimes when it's too old, uh, the paper, it kind of will eat at it, you know. I don't know. Come on. You can do it. Okay. So that'll be fun. We'll put two of those in each one. Let's see if I can do it this way first. Not that it matters. But it's fun that, you know, I had some paper that... Come on, you can do it. Come on. Okay. That's okay. We're going to make it work. Since I already have one cut down and it's kind of fragile paper, I'm just going to use this as my template. Because I'd rather just cut it by with scissors than to run the whole piece. How fun is that? So, I think that's my phone, but I've had telemarketers calling all day, so I'm sure it's nothing. You have a baby? Two. Oh. <laughs> I usually don't have my cell phone on at home, because when it dies, I just let it die, because I don't have good service here. But yeah, I've had like three messages 
three phone calls today, and that was number four, I think. And, you know, I'll check it when I'm done here, but it's probably just a telemarker. It's pretty much anyone who knows me knows, call me on the home phone or text me on my iPad. Because we live in a hole and we have to go to the bathroom, so we're having to tell people, okay, I'm going to the bathroom because that's the best service in the house, you know. And we have our cell phone. <laughs> it's annoying, but, you know, you've lived here 20 years, 21 years, then you get used to it. Okay, guys, so I'm going to put those aside because we might can use those for, um, like to make up half pages or something. Okay, so let's pull these back up here. Beautiful heaven. How fun. That's pretty. It's already getting really thick. Look at that. Do what, Lovey? You ask for prayers for the show. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I don't want names. No. We do have a friend name. named Michelle that needs prayers. So I'm not going to give any details nope. or anything, but. God knows what she needs. Yeah. I talked to her today, and she just needs God's arms around her as she's going through some rough stuff. Aren't these pretty? I love papers like this where you can put in, <clears throat> you know, the old yellow paper. Oh, this one's funny. So I'm going to put this. Oh, I'll be on this one. But it says goodbye on the very end. So I think that would be funny for the end of a signature. <laughs> I don't know. Goodbye or goodbye? Goodbye. Oh. Like, see you later. Yeah. So we... I've been planning on... I think I might have mentioned this. I never can remember what I've talked about. Um, I'm going to go through and put, you know, some stuff out in the shed. I'm going to start with all of our Halloween stuff because I'm done with that. So I'm trying to get the house organized this weekend. And because we have a rocker, that needs one that needs to be moved, one that needs to come in, and <clears throat> all the stuff, you know, that I've picked up. Um, while we were gone and stuff. Actually, I think I'm going to change that one because that was so funny that it says goodbye. I'll put it in the signature. <laughs> Just tickled me. Okay. I really wanted to do the bear, but God, I could not. What, well, part of it, the squares are three quarters of an inch. My God, you don't realize how tiny that is until you start trying to glue it down and so it, well, and then his little nose, it could not have been very big. <laughs> his nose is the same. It's his nose is, it. but like the nose holes, because it nostrils. has that in the, the nostrils, in the, um, um, yeah, yeah, and it couldn't have even been like a quarter of an inch. I mean, it was tiny, tiny, so I don't know how anyone could do that, but. So, yeah, so he just, he was getting fed up with it, and I told him, you know, you don't have to do the bear. It's not that important, you know, so don't worry, don't stress out too much. And besides, I want this to be fun. I don't want it to feel like a chore yep. to either one of us, you know. Uh, I did find this. It's just some wrapping paper that I thought might be the right size, and it kind of has the green, but I think that would be fine. And I may go ahead and coffee dye it and kind of make it look grungier. And I really like coffee dyeing um, uh, wrapping paper because it kind of takes the shine down and it almost gives it like a thicker texture, which is kind of odd because you wouldn't think that would happen. But yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and coffee dye it, not on camera or anything, but I'll do that later. So. But, and it's really green, and I'm just going to make it work, I think. So, make sure we'll see where my fold is. Just cutting it down to eight. 
but when I saw it, I thought, you know, I should use some wrapping paper. I looked through my wrapping paper, my wallpaper, things like that, just to see if, you know, there was anything I could find. And then I thought, since it's kind of a, kind of sturdy, I thought I would go ahead and bring it down to eight and fold it over. It's only like an inch, so it's not you know, tons, but that will give a little bit more journaling spot, space, I guess. So, and I think that'll be really nice in there, especially once it's coffee dyed. So, so that's adding one, two, three, another three. So I need at least another three pages for each journal. So I just need to kind of figure out what I want to do with that. <clears throat> I do have some, because since it is longer, it's kind of harder. But I do have some. I don't have to fall out of my chair. <laughs> this is a, uh, um, what's it called, parchment paper that I've copy dyed. So. Might just do two of these in each journal. Oh, it wasn't coffee dyed, it was um, eco dyed, it looks like. So it's just shy of being eight, or it's just over eight on the top. And it's going to be a little shy, but I think it'd still work nice when I fold it in half. Yeah, it's just an inch shy. So I think that's going to work, and then we'll trim it down here in a second. But yeah, these are some I eco dyed when I was trying out my eco dye. <laughs> they didn't turn out, you know, very well, but it was fun to try. I don't know that I'd go back into it because there's so many gorgeous pages on the internet, like Bella Gustinelli and few other ones that have eco dyed successfully so I think it's kind of nice just to go on and get their digitals than dealing with it because I all to me it is is wet paper I mean wet petals and wet and frustration <laughs> yeah that's true. it's not that fun for me it was frustrating so let's go ahead and cut those down well, exactly. And some people love leaves. it. No. You know, probably if it would have turned out for me, I would have loved it, but it didn't, and so I don't love it that much. So. Well, I think it turned out. Some people just have ability to do different things. Exactly. And you, you just have to do what you're happy with doing, right. you know. But I'm, I don't so have I'm going to cut these down. Well, yeah, but I mean, you don't even have that paper want, no, you know, I don't. it's not something you want to do. Nope. It doesn't interest not you. And all. that's kind of how I feel now with eco dyeing. I'm like, no, look yeah, at that rip. Oh, well, I'm still going to keep it, even though it ripped. <clears throat> oh, gosh. Be nice to the kitty cats. Oh, gee. Boy, I tell you what, Chloe spotted me today. She was sitting on my cutting mat. I'm trying to cut this stuff, and she's back talking me. <laughs> well, and she wasn't happy anyways because Daddy was not ready to take a nap, and she wanted to go take a nap. Butt. So when she's ready, she just sits there and waits for Daddy to be ready, but he's not, so she kind of tells him she that she's a, irritated with him. Yeah, she, she's not a patient little girl, I can tell you that right she, it, Everything's got to be on Chloe's time, it can't be on my time. Yeah, it does. You know, when she wants in the bedroom, she'll she'll hear me get up and then she'll come running. And then she, I'm like, do you want in the bedroom? And she says, yeah, she wants in the bedroom because she'll meow at me. And then she'll run into the bathroom. And I'm like, well, Chloe, I thought you wanted in the bedroom. No. Well, why don't you tell me what you want? And she'll do that for like three or four times, and then she'll go into the bedroom. She's a turd. I you know, I mean, what does she want in the bathroom? We don't give her water or anything, so I don't know what she wants. She's a turd. 
Yeah, she really is. <laughs> like I keep saying, she's dad reincarnated as a cat. <laughs> Boy, she's got an attitude. She really does. <laughs> I love her to death. I tell you what, I wouldn't wouldn't want not to have her, but I sure wouldn't have, want to have more than one. No, she's a handful. She's really a handful. And, you know, when you have a cat telling you no all day long, it kind of gets old. <laughs> oh, God. Because Bart actually says no. If he sees me getting ready, he gets all pissed off because he doesn't want me to go. And I'll pat him and he'll shrink and then say no. Yeah, he'll say no. I don't want you to pat me. Don't touch me. I mean, me. it's no as plain as day. Yeah. And his actions prove We it. have issues with our cats. Can you guys well, tell? Okay, a couple of them are pretty <laughs> demanding. Chloe's definitely by far the worst as far as attitude. Yeah, and Chloe, when Clint used to, before Parg came into the picture, he wasn't even born yet, but uh, would go and block the, the door so Clint couldn't get out. Yeah, she'd stand sideways in front of the door. <laughs> she wouldn't let him go. And then now Parg just starts sulking as soon as we take a shower to get around, or Clint washes his hair or whatever. He's like, but Daddy, and then... Where are you going to sit? Clint will talk to him, give me a kiss, and he'll turn his head and say, no, and walk, run off. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it makes Clint so sad. It does, because he just, in his eyes change, his eyes get sad. <laughs> it's hard on him. You guys, we live a hard life. Yeah, that big hard. We now. have a hard life, I tell you. So. Are you seriously going to do this, Cubby? Let's see what I have over here. I was thinking about kind of piecing these together. Honey. Those there, I'll dig them out. What? Three now. Clint has three cats on him. <laughs> the siblings, dude. The three, yeah, yeah. One is... Uh, Cubby, Pard, and Butterball. Yep. Cubby, Pard, and Sophia. Sorry. Excuse my arm. Seriously, guys. Seriously, Cubby. I guess I'll have to get up because Clint can't move. I can't do nothing. <laughs> do you want me to open the front door, maybe? I don't know, he can. What's the temperature outside? 63. I'm a little warm. Sorry, guys. My feet are cold. Oh. Plus, the cats, it'll kind of, they get excited when the door's open. Get a little bit of fresh air until I'm done. Recording. <coughs> 63 outside, so it's still a little chilly. Got down to 11. Yeah. Did it really? Yeah, it did. So what I'm going to do here is, before I sew, oh, uh, what happened to my thread? I didn't do it. <laughs> I think it was sister. One of them. Yeah. Went stinker. to the bathroom and there was a thing of yarn in there. Well, I, yeah, I think we talked on the, on the other video like that, but I put that yarn away so that no one could find it. I think Pard found it. I think he smells it or something. Pard loves it. Because I put it behind other paper and stuff so that they wouldn't get to it, you know? Yeah, Pard loves yarn. Yeah, I still don't know how he got to it because it was... He must have really climbed or something. He's a person. Aren't you big bear? Oh, I tell you guys. Okay, so... I think I'm going to go ahead and piece this just about eight inches and then we'll trim it down and use it as a page. I told him I got the sewing machine running, didn't I? Yeah, you told him in the other one. Oh, I did. Been a while since we made yesterday's video, I guess. I guess Clint doesn't that, remember. <laughs> Boy, it was something else when that belt shredded. That was funny. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, we talked about it earlier. Maybe it was when you did a video. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows with Clint? Okay, then I have this green, which will kind of be fun too. You get that part? Okay. I'm just tacking it a little bit. If you saw where I did. Mm. The, uh, sorry, Clint. Sorry. I just cut it. He's really hurting, and he took pain pills earlier, but they haven't kicked in yet. Yeah, I've had like three or four today, which. Don't do that. Yeah, but I think it's because you had such a rough week yeah. when the weekend comes. Even though technically it's not really the weekend for us, yeah, it's only okay. Friday. Huh? Of course you can. No, just kidding. What's wrong, Parge? 
So see that will work because that will give me 8 inches tall. So let's work on one, one or two more and see what we can do. But I thought instead of throwing them away, we'll just kind of make them work, you know. Because you know we throw nothing away if we... I do. I know you do. <laughs> I don't care who yells at me, Marilyn. <laughs> Another man's treasure. Huh. Huh, yeah. Marilyn. She knows to... You know, I haven't really heard from Marilyn. She did comment, but she hasn't been texting me like she had been. Hmm. Marilyn, I'm still the same person. Even though I was gone for a couple of days. Just saying. I think that one's kind of ripped, so I'm going to... Well, you sew it. Yeah, I'm kind of piecing it together and then sewing it like yeah. I did the other day. I don't know. I never paid no attention to what you did the other day, babe. Oh, jeez, guys. Not my job. It's not my job to see what you do. Pay That's attention, huh? Thing. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll sew them with a zigzag stitch, and it'll kind of be like a patchwork. Where'd Dwight go? I met. I moved to everything of yours. So I didn't get glue on it, because then you would have yelled. No. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, Marilyn, I was reading her comment today, and she said, you guys are so funny, and you don't even know it. What is she talking about? That's what I think, too. <laughs> oh, Marilyn, you're so funny. Maybe you're the funny one, Marilyn. No. Probably not. It's probably us. Everyone says that. <laughs> you're not the only one. Hi, Cubby. I thought you were looking out the door. Why don't you go look out the door? I said his feet are cold, but... Yeah, my feet are always cold. They're stupid and rough. Yeah, they are. They baby. me. Yeah. But it felt hot in here to me. So it's yeah. kind of nice to have the fresh air. Now they call out a normal tree. For where? That. Bayfield? No. Oh, really? Because when's it due? Isn't it due like Tuesday? No, Wednesday? Yeah, no, Tuesday. Oh, it would be due Wednesday, wouldn't it? I was just curious what their, what our thing says. Are we actually off on Monday? Yeah, we're off on Monday. Woohoo, we're off on Monday, even though 16th. we have to work. <laughs> 16th is Wednesday, so yeah, technically we could be off Monday, but we have a job we need to take care of. I didn't get that one lined up very well, but it's not bad. Let's see. Eight. Yep. Eight inches. I'm just going to keep making them because I think I can make one more for sure. And then, or, yeah. So I have these three pieces of paper. So, Grandma, or what is that called? After? Stroganoff? We're having homemade beef stroganoff for dinner. With egg noodles. With Grandma's egg noodles. Clint usually makes our egg noodles, but he hasn't felt like it, and sometimes it's just nice to, you know, purchase. And he had a buy one, get one free last time we were at the store, so. Or something like that. Oh, that's funny. I just read Marilyn's comment. I didn't read that one. Marilyn's so funny. I didn't see it. I think I'm going to try to put these four. Let's do that one like this. That's just pretty. Not that it really matters, but there is a rip there. So you can shut the no, door. It's all right. I managed. I'm putting my feet off the floor. I'm fine. And I even got stupid socks on. <laughs> Neuropathy is no fun, guys. Clint doesn't have it from diabetes or anything. It's the pressure on his spine and he has issues with you know you know how it is yeah I'm getting I'm it started changing you know she said it's gonna move up my legs and stuff so yeah eventually. okay so uh-huh I don't know they're playing with that with my cats I think that doesn't sound good though. I don't know what they're doing 
Oh, you don't think they knocked out a window pane, do you? No. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so now we're just going to zigzag down these really quick. This was un unplanned. Can you guys tell? <laughs> My whole video, but to do this, I just happened to see all these papers over there, and I thought, ooh, those would be pretty. Karen did. Mm -hmm. Karen did? Cool. These are going to be pretty simple just because there's only one line. So, even though it feels like it's going on forever. <laughs> I'm like, geez, when's the end? Oh, are you chain piecing? No. Oh, you're not? No, because what I'm doing is I'm just piecing the... Honey, if you would have watched the other video... Oh, blah, blah, blah. I don't watch your videos. <laughs> you, deal with that. you do sometimes when you're on them. Because he wants to see what it is that people find so funny. Yeah, it's really funny. Yeah, when people say, you guys are so funny, we go back and watch it, and then we're like, do you see what's funny in this video? <laughs> and then he's like, no, do you? And I'm like, no, I don't really. <laughs> I guess it's just the way we are, I guess. I guess it's just who we really are, yeah. <laughs> the one thing I never believed in is putting up front. I am who I am. If you don't like it, then you don't have to listen to it, yeah. you know. But yeah, I guess we're just, that's who we are in real life. I mean, yeah, we don't do anything different. We are just nuts. Speak for myself is what Clint said. If you're not nuts when you get here, you'll be nuts when you leave. <laughs> I just came up with that. I thought it was funny. I'm sure I heard it somewhere. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? Uh, too funny. Pretty much. That could be my, uh, what's it called? Tagline what? Tagline. If you're not nuts when you get here, you'll be when you leave. <laughs> you guys, I have to admit, sometimes I crack myself up. <laughs> yeah, it's really hilarious when she snort. <laughs> uh, I snort. You know you do good when you snort. what mom was saying this weekend she was making me laugh you know last weekend or we were laughing about something she said or whatever and she's like oh my gosh she snorted you know it's good when she snorts did mom say that oh <laughs> yeah. god that's funny oh uh, you guys <laughs> you guys would love mom she's sure is sweet she's pretty sweet she really is she loves us and you know to have someone who's a true mom and they love you and think of you before themselves is unusual to me. But I got a true mom in her, so. Yeah, she's always thinking about us. Making sure we're okay. She's definitely a true mom, you know. Okay, let's do these. Sorry this has been such a boring video probably for you guys, but you know sometimes that's how it is with us. A bunch of rambling and not a bunch of knowledge. <laughs> to tell you 16 inches takes forever sometimes, jeez. I don't know. I don't need it to go faster per se. 
per se. I don't need it to go faster. I'm just impatient, maybe. Maybe so. But it's fine, really. It's just... I guess I could press harder on the foot. That makes it go faster. Yeah, yours had a thing that would make it faster. The one I broke. So. This is kind of fun, though. Just, you know, reusing your scraps to make new pa new pieces of paper. It's not something I typically think to do, but I did need more paper for this. And I was running out of ideas. So is that how you come up with the idea? Actually, they call it Franken paper. Yeah, I read that somewhere. On and there. then um, Di Miss Diane calls it uh, patchwork paper, and I really I like, like the that. patchwork paper a lot more than yeah, Franken too. paper because Franken paper reminds me of Halloween, and I don't know. I just like the other thing better. But and then I think Sue wrote Franken paper. Patchwork yeah. paper, kind of combined the both of them. The thing about this is, no, it's not. Never mind. Okay, it would go like I was gonna say when it's. Never mind. When it's inside, the outside would be upside down, but it's not like that. Never mind. Just oh, ignore me. Who has a red border collie? Uh, oh. oh my god. My birthday. <laughs> Oh, look at that baby. Someone's selling it? Yeah. Someone's got a red border collie for adoption or whatever. We had a red border collie. Yeah, when we, we first got married, we had. had. Well, he we didn't know that's how border collies acted. Oh. <laughs> he was a little hyper, or a oh lot hyper. Yeah, well, he loved rocks, and it's that just... Yeah, we, uh, you know, you learn about dogs when you have them and stuff, and he was a little... Well, he sure liked Grandpa. Remember Dad? Boy, he was playing. Yeah, he did. Dad, see, Dad he wasn't like... much of a dog person. But he... he wasn't either, and then yeah. Mom asked him if he would mind if she brought home a dog. And she got this little, tiny, teeny chihuahua mix, is what we thought it was at the shelter, because I worked at the animal shelter. And it turned out to be some kind of <laughs> psycho you, dog. Kind of like a Huber. <laughs> Her name was Bit. Uh, Her name was Bit, and she yeah. was like this big. She was so tiny. And she was. And Mom sweet. loved her. And she said, I don't want her. So, And I worked at the animal shelter, so I was able to get her for her. And then she turned into a spaz dog. <laughs> Well, boy, she loved Dad. She she was awesome. Dad loved her. Every day he'd take her outside and play, play frisbee. Frisbee, yeah, she was. She could. It, she could have been frisbee. like one of those um, air dogs or whatever they're called. A what? Air dogs, I think, is what they're. Is called. that what they're called? Where they, you Where know, play and yeah. yeah. She could have done really well, she and she was. she was a sweetheart. She she was our brother and sister because you know moms. But oh, she loved. She Boy, would she, she would go grandpa. with mom, with grandma on trips yeah. and Boy, she with mom on trips that. and mom loved taking her. Uh yeah, oh, she would that's not gonna be big here. enough, long enough. I guess we're still gonna use it. It's just gonna be a shorter page. I mean that's okay. It's just I thought they were all gonna be the right size. Remember, and she'd lay on dad's lap in the chair. Oh yeah, he, he and dad was not a dog person, but man, he loved that dog. And she passed. Mom had a cat and a dog pass. Right. Just, I mean, side by side almost. It was within a month, I think, both of them passed. It yeah. was awful for her. She was always calling me crying about. And that was like her only animals. She didn't have. Mm -mm. Yeah. Now, you know, my brother in law has two or three cats. And Mom loves those critters. <clears throat> but one of one of my mom's cats now is named Bob because you know that show What About Bob? 
the movie. Well, Mom would walk into the kitchen, and there's a cat there, but it's not their cat. <laughs> he just showed up. He'd show up in the kitchen, and he'd come through the cat door, and he would sleep on the kitchen chair. And then when they got up in the morning, he'd go, he'd leave out the cat door. <laughs> And they never know where he where he was or where he came from or anything. It was quite humorous. He's a beautiful cat, very pretty. But man, it was funny. She was telling me, you know, they'd go in there and they'd be like, uh, "That's not my cat." <laughs> and then one day he got to the point he quit quit leaving, and so he just stayed there. And so they named him What About Bob because it kind of reminded him of the movie What About Bob. <laughs> It was so funny. Mom tells us that story all the time. So funny. Well, that's kind of fun paper. I like that. You know, another way to use up scraps, huh? Let's see. Maybe I'll put it in between here. That is fun, guys. Oh, I want to have two of them for each one. Um, here, maybe. This is fun. I'm I'm enjoying myself. This is a lot of fun. And it's kind of fun because you have to be inventive. You have to be creative to come up with, you know, pages that are going to fit. Things like that. So you have to kind of be creative and see if you can make it work. <laughs> I like a challenge. Especially a creative challenge, you know. I've been crafting forever. And, uh, yeah. How fun. Okay, so we got all our papers. That's exciting. Now, some of these, are they kind of hang over. That doesn't really bother me because our, our um, cover most likely will be closer to 9x9. Nine nine. And so that will cover that up. And then if I put ruffles or something on the edge, I think it will be just fine. So I'm not going to worry about that. If you were working on one, because even though you cut it everything to the same, you know, you get the bulk right here in the fold, and it kind of pushes out your inside papers. You, if that bothers you, then you can trim them down. I've seen how some people, they just fold everything and then just get a, a ruler and an X-Acto knife and just clean up those edges if you want a really straight edge. That's kind of like something I do. That is Clint. I don't care. It doesn't bother me. I think it adds character. But Clint, you know, he likes them to what be nice and neat. Yeah, is? somebody said they didn't like symmetry. Uh -huh. and <laughs> I am with you, but Clint loves, you know, everything to be perfect. And he's measuring this morning for the cover, and he says, oh, this part is exactly a half inch from the other side. And I'm like, whatever. <laughs> good job, honey. <laughs> hey, it, it turned out good, though. It did turn out beautiful, so. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go coffee dye these. And then when we come back, we're going to see if we want to put some, um, what am I thinking, guys? Some envelopes, you know, interesting pieces like that. So, I'm going to do that. Get Clint to run out and feed the outside cats because they're hungry. Or maybe I'll go out. Who knows? And so, I guess we'll let you go for now. Thank you so much for watching. Hope this wasn't too boring for you. I know some of you guys said you enjoy my rambling, so thank you for being so sweet. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And we will see you guys in the next video. See you soon. Bye. Bye, guys.